Now let's go to Nick Sturdivant, who spoke with some employees at the mall. And Nick, some of this video was really terrifying to just watch. I mean, you see children, babies. It's really scary. Yeah, I mean, Angela, you're right. It's some scary stuff. And just to give you an idea of where we are right now, we are at the on the second level of the mall, uh, outside of the J.C. Penney and the belt when we got here around 4:30, it was gridlocked as far as traffic now you can see behind me uh the parking lot is nearly empty now take a look at the screen again when we got here we saw the fire department police emergency crews the, this video is from a woman who had to take cover inside of the van shoe clothing store supply room we also noticed a lot of people walking around in the parking lot some told us you know they were looking for their cars others told us you know they were just shocked by what happened i also talked to an employee listen to this young lady who works at madewell describe what happened stampedes of people screaming i shut the door to our store real quick and we just had to yell at people to get back um all we could be told was that there was one shooter caught um, and it started at either JC Penney or Belk. How did that feel to be inside? And be Terrifying. Um, and someone was trying to also get in the mall, and we're like, dude, they're just shooting, can't go shopping right now. And you heard it there from that employee. I mean, just a terrifying experience. The mall, you know, obviously closed, and officials are urging people to stay away from this area because of traffic and because of the investigation. Live in Durham tonight, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News. Right, Nick, it is still an active inv investigation and police saying that the mall will not reopen today. So we, of course, will stay on top of this for you.